Sailorsonsale.com here for our Pelican Ice Challenge. We just picked up the brand new uh, Pelican model cooler. Uh, these are up to 30% lighter than the older style, which is this one here. This is the Pro Gear Elite. Uh, one of our top performers in our past ice challenges. If you haven't seen those, check those out. We'll link to them in this video. Uh, but we want to test this Pelican 50 quart against the Pro Gear Elite. This is a 45 quart cooler. And we've also added in the Engel Deep Blue Series 50 quart uh, just because we want comparable sizes. And the Engel Deep Blue 50 quart was uh, one of the top performers in all the ice challenges that we've run. So it's a really, really solid cooler. So we want to compare how does Pelican stack up against uh, Engel as well as how does it stack up against the old style uh, Pro Gear Elite 45. So here's what we're working with. First up, we have the Pelican Pro Gear Elite 45 quart cooler. This one comes with wheels. You can get it with or without. And uh, this is the older style Pelican, 70 degrees on the outside. And on the inside, 16, uh, anywhere from 13 to 16 degrees, bouncing all around. Three beverages on top, filled to capacity with ice. Next up is the new style Pelican. Uh, these are up to 30% lighter. Uh, this one does not have wheels and you'll see that the style has changed uh, 70 degrees on the outside. And this is a 50 quart cooler. So it's slightly bigger than the Pro Gear Elite. That's 45. This is a 50 quart cooler filled to capacity uh, on inside 14 and a half. Three beverages on top. Same style latches on both those Pelicans. Last but not least is the Engel 50 quart cooler. This has been one of our best performing coolers in the series. 74 and a half degrees on the outside and on the inside, 15, 15 and a half, uh, filled to capacity with three beverages. So the scene is set here. We have three coolers. We're really after seeing how well the new style Pelican performs against the old style as well as uh, one of our top performers, the Engel. These coolers have all been pre-chilled for 24 hours. We just re-topped them off with ice and the three beverages uh, this morning. It's quite warm in Florida today. Um, it's about 74 degrees. We're gonna, all week we'll be running between low 70s to even 80 degrees. At nighttime temperatures, uh, low 50s even high 40s. Uh, they're going to stay outside all day and evening and you'll notice that we've staggered the coolers. That's so no cooler is casting a shadow on the other one. They're all given the same amount of sunlight so the test is fair. We'll also rotate the beverages three times a day, top to bottom, bottom to top. That will simulate actual use so that they're getting open and the uh, hands are being put into the cooler and moving the beverage around to simulate actual use. So the scene is set here. We'll pick you back up uh, after one full day tomorrow morning and see the progression after 24 hours. Entering day number six of the Pelican Ice Challenge. That's five full days in the books. And same as yesterday, we'll give a slight advantage uh, to the Pelican 50 quart over the Ingle Deep Blue 50 quart and the Pelican Pro Gear Elite 45. Uh, it's really hard to tell because the uh, Pelican 50 quart is not holding water like the other two coolers. And you'll see it's not leaking. The cooler is definitely not leaking. I just think that there's that much room in the cooler, it's hard to still see. Uh, but we'll see as it progresses. It's supposed to be quite warm warm uh, through the weekend. So we'll track the progression and pick back up. For
Today is the big day, entering day number 11 of the Pelican Ice Challenge. That's 10 full days in the books, and as you'll see when we show you on the inside, the Pelican Pro Gear Elite 45 has just run out of ice this morning. It had ice in there last night when we checked them about uh, 8.30 at night, and this morning its uh, internal temperature is about 35 degrees, so just ran out of ice this morning. The Pelican 50 Quart and the Ingle Deep Blue Series 50 Quart both still have ice in them. Uh, we'll give a slight advantage to the Pelican 50 Quart, but the point to make about this day is we've made it 10 full days of ice retention under normal use. We open these coolers three times a day, rotate the beverages around. Now we ran a test very similar to this back in May. If you haven't seen that, we'll link to it in the description where the Ingle made it about six and a half days and I think the Pelican went five and a half to six days. Temperatures were in the 90s then, we're now into the mid 70s, uh, low 80s and we've gone 10 days. So Pelican advertises 10 days ice retention time and we can say that is in fact true under normal use, opening three times a day. Some people might do it more, some people might do it less, but under normal situation, they can last 10 full days. That's really incredible for a cooler that's been sitting out in the sun all day. We're gonna run the test and see how long the Pelican and an Ingle can go. Uh, there's not that much ice left in them. I anticipate maybe another day, uh, possibly two, but that might be a stretch. Uh, we'll have the results directly after this video, but this has been the Pelican Ice Challenge brought to you by CoolersOnSale.com. Fifty-four, fifty-six. Done. Still twenty-six degrees. So just ran out. That's after eleven days. Angle. Step the same. Sixty-two. Yep. Twenty-five and a half. Exactly the same. Not a sliver of ice left. Very cold. So 11 days, tie.